Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new 2023 Sierra 400BH destination trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, kind of show you what it's all about. This is a two bedroom, two bathroom loft style destination trailer. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Sierra 400BH destination trailer here. And we're gonna start back here in the back, as you've seen on the floor plan that was up a few seconds ago. This is a two bedroom, two bathroom kind of unit with a loft. So kind of stepping down into the back room. So you can see here, you do have a little step down. The main subfloor is a vinyl floor, and then you have a little bit of carpet on your stairs and maybe a little portion of the slide. But there are quite a few cabinets and stuff here to give a decent amount of storage back here. They have soft close cabinet doors. Drawers are full extending, ball bearing drawer guided drawers, and these are also a soft close drawer as well. Decent sized little hanging closet here. Electric outlet, USB charger port on the back wall there. You have a pretty good sized window that does open. Over here you have what can be a sofa during the day or a bunk at night. So just basically the little backs back there come right off and you got a place for your kid to sleep. Window here does open. Pretty cool little setup back here. And then you have heat duct coming out there, and then you also have an AC duct coming from the ceiling here. Now, just right back here, we have a bathroom area. So there is a porcelain foot flush toilet here. A little towel bar going on there. You have an entry exit door with a screen door to get you in and out of this if you need to. Nice thing too, if the kids are out running around playing all day, they can just run right back into here and get in and out of their bathroom without having to track through the whole RV and dirty it up. So you have an ABS tub surround, little tub as well. That tub's probably, I'd say, maybe 14 inches deep, 12 to 14 inches deep. So if you do have a small child, you could definitely give them a bath here if you needed to. There's a little vent fan up there. Now, height-wise, you're probably looking at somebody, maybe it's a 5'10"-ish, uh, being able to stand up in there with their head kind of getting right on the ceiling. So for shorter folks, it's probably pretty good, especially for younger kids. Um, but for full-grown adults, it might be a little bit snug on the height side of things. But you do have, again... Little sink area, some storage, medicine cabinet, all right here. But definitely a cool feature having two full bathrooms and an RV. Now going out the doorway here, immediately to our right, we have a set of steps, some step lights there, a little grab handle here. And then this is gonna take us right on up into a loft bunk area right here. So we're up here, it does currently come with a mattress, although you may want a better mattress. It's just a, probably I'd say about a two and a half, maybe three inch piece of foam. There's cabinets back there, AC ducts up here. There is a vent fan or a roof vent up here, not a fan, but a vent itself. Uh, you do have window over there, acts as an emergency exit window, and a little bit of cabinet space over here. And then right here is TV hookups as well. But definitely allowing you to sleep a couple people up here if you wanted to.
Here we have the living room kitchen area. So you have super slide over here, which is basically a sofa and dinette area on that. Four freestanding chairs. The dinette table is attached to the wall with no kind of feet underneath of it. So you don't have to worry about hitting your knees and stuff on the center post like you do on some of them. Large windows, little overhead cabinet space, and a tri-fold sleeper sofa. So that will flip out, allowing you to sleep one or two extra guests out in this area if you need to. The main subfloor up here is vinyl, and then you also have a woven material on the slide-out floor instead of carpet. Large TV, 32-inch uh, electric fireplace, which is basically just a fancy electric space heater. You have a little sound bar up there as well which will control some outdoor speakers too. One of your Coleman ACs up here. Some overhead cabinet space. And then you have an LG electric residential refrigerator. So you have the freezer on bottom and the refrigerator portion on top. Ceiling fan up here. Large microwave and a large insignia oven here as well. Four burner cooktop. Over here you have some pull out drawers built in and the unit has a water filtration system as well. Soft close. Again, little pantry area up here. Little vent fan up there also. Really nice stone style hard surface counters. Window there does open. High rise sprayer faucet. Matching sink covers here. A large undermount stainless style sink. For the uh, roof vent fan up there, you got a on off button here, ceiling fan controls, digital thermostat for one of your ACs and furnace, propane leak detector down there on the side. Couple speakers on the roof in here it looks like as well. Fire extinguisher down below, sliding glass door here, and there is a little uh, hang down kind of blind that goes with that as well. All right here you do have the on-demand water heater controls, some light switches, you have your slide buttons, awning buttons, some more light switches, 12 volt tank heaters for cold weather camping, a uh, water pump switch, monitor panels for your holding tanks, all right here. Down below, this one was also ordered with the central vac feature. And you got your electric box with the breakers and fuses down there. Going up the little hallway area here, on our left, we have the other bathroom area. So kind of starting from the top down up here, we do have a vent fan up there, AC duct up there, skylight up there as well. Lots of ceiling height in this shower area. So you definitely, if you're a taller person, are gonna to wanna to use this bathroom. You have medicine cabinet back here, an adjustable shower bar, multi-piece uh, ABS tub surround with a sliding glass enclosure. Some storage under your sink area as well. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Some more storage. But overall, it's a pretty roomy bathroom area to be able to get in and out of here, come in and get dressed and undressed to take your shower and stuff. So for your typical RV, it's a pretty decent sized bathroom. Now in the front of the RV is going to be your master bedroom right here. So you have a bed that slides out. There is some storage underneath the bed you can get to by raising up the bed or an outside door you'll see when we get out there as well. 
Window on each side of the bed does open. Some little reading lights and decorative LED light each strip back there as well. Uh, pull down roller shades in here. There is, uh, this was ordered with a ceiling fan as well. You also have your other Coleman AC up here. Front windows there do open. Quite a bit of storage and drawer space and closet space and stuff here. Little dresser area over there. Another big window as well. There's TV hookups on the wall, so you could mount another TV up here. Lots of floor space here, so definitely enough room to maneuver around. Again, kind of getting up in the morning, getting dressed, getting ready. There's a decent amount of room in here to do so. Now right here is where you could have basically another closet or washer dryer if you wanted to. So this has a whole setup here, electric outlets, drain, washer, uh, water lines and stuff like that. So you could do a combo washer dryer or a stack washer dryer in there if you wanted to. Basically the door just slides across. Electric outlet down below there. Another digital thermostat on the wall for the AC and ceiling fan controls as well. But overall, a really nice family destination trailer. Um, a lot of people have been also checking out the Salem 42 view video that I did as well. Uh, that's another pretty cool one with the loft and stuff also. So check that one out. Be sure again, folks, to check out the people at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Now, I want to run you around the outside real quick and show you what it's all about outside. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Sierra 400 BH destination trailer here. We're going to start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up, we have a kind of a light grayish fiberglass exterior, aluminum studded foam block insulated sidewall. You have a lower black metal skirting, deep tent safety glass windows. You have power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. And you also have adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. The unit has two speakers on the outside here, kind of up high. There's also a traditional porch light above your sliding glass door there. On the front side right here, just down below is a little thing you open up to get to your hydraulic reservoir pump if you ever need to do anything there. There's an override switch in there. You can also see enclosed underbelly on the bottom of the RV as well cable outlet and an electric outlet right here in case you want to put a TV on the outside here. Now on a lot of the destination trailers they use a traditional old style hover step and that's due to most of the time people park these in one spot and just build decks around them so they don't even use the steps they just leave them folded up underneath the bottom. This step is rated for 300 pounds Again, large folding entry handle right here. You'll see a couple little advertisement stickers there talking about being equipped with the King Wi-Fi extender that you can add aftermarket and that under armor, uh, underbelly, underbelly armor. Double axle unit, drum brakes, easy lube hubs. Now right here, there is a little 110 volt mini fridge right here. And then here you do have a storage compartment and there's also an electric outlet there as well. So maybe you could throw you another, I don't know, another refrigerator in there if you need two on the outside. Stove exhaust vent out up there. Double entrance step here takes you right into that back bathroom you seen when we were inside. Down below right here is a gas line hookup. So if you wanted to plug in a portable grill on the outside of the RV, you could get one aftermarket, and maybe plug it in right here. 
There is a little vent fan that you've seen when we were inside that blows out up here as well. Traditional flat back rear end. You have your rear bunk slide right here, which is a Schwintech slide system or Lippert in-wall slide on that particular one. Up into your next two slides, those are the hydraulic slides ran off the hydraulic reservoir that's in that front corner up there. Now just down below in between the slides here, you have your dump area or one of your dump areas right here, I guess I should say. And there's a couple, I think three pull handles just up underneath to there. So you got a galley, a gray, and a black handle up there. You can also see the rear end is what they call a drop frame. So that's how they get some of that extra height to allow for a loft in the unit. Going on up around to the front part here, we have our water and electric hookup area right here. So you have detachable power cord. It's probably, I'd say close to a 25 or 30 foot cord roughly. 50 amp electric service. You have black tank flush. There's two black tank flushes, uh, fresh water connection, city water connection, and cable satellite inlets as well. And then here you also have a loft cable outlet as well. So you got multiple inputs to different parts of the RV here. They're currently using the Furion on-demand water heater, which is what you're seeing right there, and your furnace exhaust out right here as well. Now, just down below here, again, we have another dump area. So you got one behind the axles and one in front of the axles. And there is hot and cold low point water drains back there. You can also see those grab handles up there coming out of the frame as well. So that's a really nice feature. The gate valves for your holding tanks and stuff are up inside that enclosed underbelly. So you're less likely to have any type of freeze up in colder weather issues. Right here you have a little storage compartment under the master bedroom. And just down below right there is the fresh water tank drain. So if you are traveling with this thing or maybe cold weather camping and you need to fill up your fresh water tank to use that during the cold weather instead of trying to use a heated hose or something, you know, that's where you would kind of drain and dump all that area out if needed. Another little thing right down here, you'll see where this is actually bolted on. So this has a removable hitch tongue. So if you wanted to make it a little bit shorter to fit into certain campgrounds, uh, some of them do have some length restrictions at these permanent sites, you could technically block the RV, detach the hitch if you wanted to, and find some place for your battery to tuck up under there and your gas bottles. But something you could do if you had to. You can see up top there, two amber lights up there. You have another little hitch light right here. Two 30 pound propane tanks, manual tongue jack, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, room for a battery to go back here as well. Traditional seven way Bargman wiring plug. It has kind of a bubbled out fiberglass front also and then when they ship it they ship it with that covering to kind of protect the windows there as well all right thanks again for taking the time to watch my rv videos i hope this was really informative for those who are interested in this model if you'd like please be sure to like share and subscribe keep up with some more videos and please also check out the folks at couches rv nation they are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country will definitely save you a lot of money if you're interested thanks again